AIDL stands for Android Interface Definition Language. To understand AIDL, we need to know first what an IDL or Interface Definition Language is. IDL is a language that lets a program or an object written in one language to communicate with another program written in an unknown language. So AIDL is basically an IDL or Interface Definition Language used by Android. In Android, one process cannot access the memory of another process. So they cannot really understand each other. So to talk, they need to decompose their objects into primitives that the operating system can understand. And the operating system marshals the object across that boundary for you. The code to do that marshalling is complicated to write. So Android handles it for you with the help of AIDL. Each application in Android runs in its own processes. An application cannot directly access another application's memory space. This is called application sandboxing. In order to allow cross-application communication, Android provides an implementation of inter-process communication or IPC protocol. IPC protocols tend to get complicated because of all the marshalling and unmarshalling of data that is necessary. AIDL allows you to define the programming interface that both the client and service agree upon to communicate with each other using inter-process communication. AIDL is a lightweight implementation of IPC using a syntax that is very familiar to Java or a Kotlin developer. And it also provides a tool that automates stub creation. We'll discuss about the stub classes when we do the AIDL practical. To make it very simple, imagine that you have met with some aliens from another universe. You need to communicate with them and have no idea how you can make them understand. Now, God is the only person who can understand your language and the alien language. Just imagine Android as the God and AIDL as the priest, the so-called mediator between God and you. Let's create a new project for the AIDL server. We don't need an activity. We'll select no activity. And um, my application, let's name it as AIDL server. Okay. And we'll change the language to Java. Okay, and click finish. Okay, so we have the project now ready. Now let's create the AIDL interface. For that, just right click here AIDL, AIDL file. Let's name it as IAIDL, sorry, AIDL color interface. Okay, click on finish. So now you can notice. This is a IDL folder here, and we have this file IADL color interface dot AIDL. So this is very similar to a Java interface. Now we have to generate the stub. So for that, we'll just go ahead and build this project, rebuild project. So after rebuilding, it should have a folder where it has the stubs which the framework create for us. So the build is already done. You can see this Java generated folder and when you click on that, you can see that IAIDL color interface. One interface file is created here. This one, and it has this particular stub. Okay. So this is the code which is automatically generated by the Android framework to assist us in the communication between two separate Android apps. Okay. So what we need to do is we have to basically implement this particular 
tab plus okay so now as you can see here it was a dummy uh, function which came automatically so we have to basically replace this function with our function so let's do that so we can simply replace this function with our function in our case we just need a method which will return the integer value of the color so this function will basically create generate some random colors and send it back to the clients okay so in the interface we just need to define this and uh, let's rebuild it again so after rebuilding you go here and come down you can see this uh, method defined get color now let's create the service create the service service let's name it as aidl plus service java export enable that's fine finish we have this service now we need to basically implement the stuff now let's create the binder object binder okay so now basically we need to write the logic for get color so the get color has to create generate some random colors and send it back so now let's write the logic for getting the color okay basically we are just creating a random uh, number and creating a random color and returning that value and let's create this uh, missing tag okay ideal color service that's done let's put a semicolon Okay, so we are done with the implementation of the binder and we also need to do one thing here we should return the binder object delete this line okay so i think we are almost done with this service and we should also check the manifest ones we need to create an action intent tag as well here so that we can call this service from a separate application using intents now let's create the intent action for this service okay so intent filter just give the action name here so we'll be using this action name from the client app to trigger this service So now let's go ahead and create the client app for that new new project let's have an empty activity for this because we need a button which on press of that it should call this service so let's take an empty activity press next let's name it as aidl client and it's java it's good click finish okay so first we will quickly create an activity here now activity we already have we'll just add a button to that activity so it has a text view at the moment so instead we will add a button okay and remove this text view and use some constraint all the places okay so now maybe we can make it a little bigger okay the name let's keep it as button itself and the text we can change it to change my color so i won't press off this button um, we are expecting this one to get the color from the aidl service okay so now we need to copy the aidl interface files so for that let's first create one aidl folder here click on aidl and uh, the interface name uh, let's keep it aidl color interface which is same as the server interface file just click on finish so now it has created this uh, file now let's go back to the server app and uh, let's copy the content of this thing including the package name come back to the client and just replace everything with this please note the package name so we are using the package name from the server okay now we need to also rename this package name to aidl server let's refactor rename we will just rename this directory okay, aidl server factor so now we have com.tollcafe.aidl server is the package name here so this is pretty important step uh, please make a note here so you can see the difference between the page name here this is aidl client and here within the aidl folder it is aidl server so just make sure your aidl file always resides with the package name same as the server where it is defined okay so now let's go ahead and build it rebuild it so now the framework has already generated the steps here similar to what we have seen in the server okay so now let's go ahead and do the changes in the main activity to bind to the service and on click of the button call this service let's first define an object of this interface i ideal color interface service yeah, let's add service now create a service connection object
so here we have two methods on service connected on service disconnect so on service connected will be called when the service is connected or binded to the um, aidl service and this will get called whenever the service gets disconnected so now basically we need to initialize this object the interface object for that we use iadl color interface so this is nothing but the file which the framework created the interface class file which the framework created so dot stop class dot as interface so there is a method within that so there this one so this is a static method um, which basically takes in the binder object okay? and it would uh, basically turn the interface object we should call it by passing this binder object and this will basically initialize this interface object we can use this interface object now to call those methods like this like get, get color but uh, we should not do that here instead we have to create a on click listener for the button and do it inside create this tag table okay so that's done so now the next step is to create the intent which points to the service so here we create the intent using the action so this action is what we have defined in the manifest of the aidl server in the aidl server in the manifest file we have defined this intent filter right earlier contains the aidl color service we are using the same action in the main activity yeah so this will explicitly point to that service which we have created and then we are setting the package name as com.tollcafe.aidl server okay so this is the package name of the aidl server okay and after that we are using the bind service so the bind service takes three parameters the first one is the intent which explicitly points to the service which we created that's nothing but the aidl service and then we have the m connection object so this is basically the connection object which we created then we have a flag bind auto create what this does is if the service is existing it will automatically create the service service will not be always running so if there is no client for the service then the service will be automatically stopped whenever a new client binds to the service the service will be automatically created in case if the service is not running already so that is what this third parameter does so now next step is to create an on click listener button so for this first we create a button object by referring to the button r.id.button remember that we kept the name of the uh, button as button this one in the xml this will create an object of that button and then we are setting a listener to that button inside this on click event we basically get uh, initialized a color variable and this color value will be populated by this service so instead of i remote service you have to name it as i ideal color service dot get color so now let's go ahead and um, run this in the emulator so i have the emulator here first the aidl server so this is the aidl server project go ahead and generate an apk so this is the one so you can simply drag and drop the apk into the emulator to install it so it's already installed now let's try it once again yeah it's installing so you don't need to really use adp to install um so in these cases you can simply drag and drop okay and now let's come back to the client and let's run this okay so this is our app and when you click on change my color it should change the color of the button so it's happening and just to make sure the server is getting cold we can go to locat and open adl server okay and just clear the logs and let's click here so then you can see that in the adl server it's uh, basically generating the color and sending it back so the get color this is the color which is getting returned when you click on it it's returning it these are the logs coming out of the aidl server so i hope you understood uh, how to implement an aidl with two applications from this tutorial so in case if you have any doubts or any any other uh, questions uh, please add a comment and i'll be more than happy to respond thank you so much